Hey guys, back in the shop again today. So for today's project, I am getting ready to change tires on my bike. Took, put these knobbies on there uh, last fall, went out to Colorado and did a little bit of trail riding. But not what I wanna, I don't wanna just burn up these knobbies uh, riding around here. So I'm gonna switch back to my Shinko 805s, I think is what I'm gonna put back on this. Um, so when I put these tires on in the fall, this is a, this is a Kenda, I don't know, whatever that Kenda knobby tire is. Um, pretty basic, you know, inexpensive tire. But that thing is super stiff, super stiff sidewall. Um, when I took the street tires off this thing, and actually the Shinkos weren't too bad either, they weren't that bad um, changing on this bike, but that stiff knobby tire was a, was a real pain. And then actually um, this front, this is a, uh, oh, what is that? It's the uh, TKC 80. That one was pretty tight getting on there too. So I decided the next time I did this, I wanna to try to rig up a way to make it easier to pop the bead off. Changing the tire itself, and I'm not real experienced at this, I've only done this a few times, so I'm sure there's way better technique that I have, but the biggest challenge I had, or one of the biggest challenges, was just getting the stupid bead um, broke, off, broke off the rim. So I decided I was gonna devise something to make this a little bit easier. So I've got some scraps of steel here um, that I've got laid out, and, and I've got most of this stuff kind of cut already, and I just thought I'd show you guys how I'm gonna put this together. Um, so what I started with, first I was just gonna use some two inch tubing. Let me back up a sec. So my idea to make this a solid mount is I'm actually gonna build something that goes into a receiver mount. And uh, I'm building it, I'm building it to fit my truck actually. So I figure, you know, I always, always, always have my truck available if I have my bike with me or if I'm, you know, if I tow it somewhere or whatever. So I'm building this, my truck hitch, the bottom of my truck hitch is 19 inches. So I've got this hitch on my tractor and I've just got this sort of mocked up here in the shop. So I was gonna take some two inch tubing, which would work fine. But then I remembered that I had some old um, receiver hitches that I had actually cut the ball off for something else I was gonna use them for and then I ended up not using them. So um, as you can see, what I did was just cut the notch, the top and the bottom out of this old receiver hitch. And then I drilled a hole to accept a bolt. And then I've got this uh, chunk of, this is inch and a half, this is inch and a half square tubing. And it was one of the few things that I had to buy actually, I got this at the steel, at the steel uh, place, it was a drop off, I got it for five bucks. So um, got a hole drilled in there. That's gonna go in there to that bolt. And then I'm gonna rig up a couple of legs here that are gonna pivot on this tubing. And then to the bottom of that, this is a, what is this, this is two inches? So this is two by three sixteenths. And I just bent this to kind of uh, simulate the radius of the rim. And that's actually gonna be the, the breaker that's gonna take the tire off. So uh, I'm gonna weld this little breaker, I don't know what you wanna call it, foot onto these, uh, these two levers here. These two levers will get bolted to this uh, tubing here. And then I should have something that should pretty easily pop the bead off the tire. So I need to drill a hole in this and I'm just kinda flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm not really sure you know, how these, uh, what these angles and dimensions and stuff should be. So um, if you're interested at the end of this video, once I get this thing all working, I'll go through everything and I'll give you the dimensions that I use in case you wanna try to do something like this too. But let me go ahead and drill a hole um, here in these and then I'll get it mocked up and <clears throat> get ready to weld this together.
All right, so here's what I'm envisioning. That goes through there, and then these guys will go through there reverse. Then, this foot will get welded onto those there. I think ideally, I didn't have the steel, I think ideally I would have had these arms be one inch instead of one and a quarter, but it's what I had, so that's what I used. It's like that. And then I'll have tons of leverage. And I'm, I'm making this basically so that I'll have four by four blocks underneath the rim to keep it up off the ground so that the so that the sprocket and the the uh, brakes aren't rubbing on the ground. So anyway, that's the basic setup. So I'll get this jigged up somehow and get this welded on as level as I can and see if it works. All right, there you go. I might tighten this, loosen that just actually maybe a little bit of friction on there isn't a bad thing, but I don't see why that wouldn't work. Let me get a tire off my bike and we'll see if we can break up a bead. All right, let's get the air out of this thing. See if this creation works.
it goes. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, guys, I don't think that could have worked any better. That is, <laughs> when I did this Saturday the first time, like I said, I fought, this, these beads are, or this thing is so stiff, I really fought this. And granted, I know if you're, you know, if you're good at changing tires, this probably isn't that big of a deal, but for somebody who is kind of inexperienced like me, um, that made a big difference. Now, if you're interested, I built this, uh, I built this tire stand too, just so I'm not, having to do this on my knees. I'll leave a link up above if you want to check out that video too. Um, how I built that pretty, pretty, pretty simple actually, but uh, I think pretty effective. So I told you if you stick around, I'll give you some measurements just in case you want to do this. Now, honestly, this thing's beefy enough that I don't know why you couldn't use this for, you know, for a lawnmower, a car, I don't know, maybe even a small tractor or something. I mean, this is, this is pretty, Pretty, uh, pretty bomb proof, I think. But so I did this again. I built this. Um, so this is 19 inches off the floor as a way I designed this. And that's exactly how my truck sits. So you know I can do this anywhere if, I, if I'm out west or whatever, and I have to change tire. I can use this thing pretty easy. So that was my thinking. So again, I, I got a uh, an over receiver tube here that I chopped up, but two by two tubing worked just fine. This this handle that I've got here. You know, for whatever that's worth, that is about 36 inches. And the only reason I'm using that is because when I was at the steel store, that was a, I think I mentioned that, that was a drop off, and I got that for five bucks. So um, ideally, I don't know, maybe I'd cut it off down here and then put like a round handle on it or something, but I'll just leave it like that. It was so cheap. Um, so that, I've got these, these legs here. These are 3 16 and I cut those to, I think those are 13 and a half inches. And then, as you can see, I kind of rounded it off down here, cut it at a 45 and then kind of ground it around so that this wouldn't be jamming into the tire. Um, so that's, that steel right there is inch and a quarter wide. Uh, I was gonna use one inch, but I didn't have enough. I think one inch would be perfectly fine. Um, again, those are, I cut those 13 and a half. So somewhere in that ballpark, Seems to be very effective. Uh, this hole here, just for whatever it's worth, I drilled that, I guess that's about seven and a half, seven and three quarters back from the end is where I drilled that hole. And that seems to be, seems to be a good pivot point. And then this little foot down here, that was a six inch piece that I bent. Um, and I don't know, that seems like that works good too. So A little bit of a, sometimes I do things that I don't use very often just because I kind of want the challenge to see if I can make life easier and I think that was a success. So I won't do this probably a couple times a year, you know, when I change tires on this thing um, or whatever bike I have. If I go trail riding, I want to put something a little knobbier on it. So that's only about the only time that I'll use this thing. But even if it's only a couple times a year, um, you know what, if it, the whole concept of work smarter, not harder, I think really applies in the situation. So anyway, I will go ahead and get this thing off of here and get my shinkos on and we'll be ready to ride the streets. So appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.